Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I'm reviewing Star Wars The Bad Batch, Season 1, Episode 7, Battle Scars. It was directed by Saul Ruiz and written by Jennifer Corbett. And it was released on June 11th, 2021. So yeah, it was another uh, great episode. Um, I'm going to be jumping right into spoilers. In fact, I'm just going to jump right into the breakdown right away. Uh, just because I feel like it. But uh, the episode starts with The Bad Batch. In space after they've stolen this creature for Sid. But, uh, you know, they're getting chased by uh, the people they stole it from. But, you know, Echo gets the hyperdrive on. And so they jump to hyperspace and escape. But then we see them uh, go back to Sid on Ord Mantell. Where, uh, you know, uh, they give Sid the uh, little creature. Um, and, you know, she gives them uh, the payment. But, you know, it's... She's kind of... Uh, taken the majority of the uh, credits for herself uh, but while that's going on uh, in the other part of the cantina we see this hooded uh, figure you know and the uh, other uh, people in the uh, cantina you know start with this hooded figure and you know, the hooded figure shoots at them uh, which the Bad Batch and Sid hear it and come running out and you know it's none other than Captain Rex himself, which, um, they, uh, then, you know, talk and he reveals that he learned that they were on Orbit Tales thanks to, uh, Trace and Rafa, um, confirming who, uh, they were talking to at the end of last week's episode, but, uh, then, you know, Riker starts complaining about his, you know, headache again and how he needs another scan on his chip and whatnot, which, you know, Rex starts to get very, uh, defensive about it and, you know, they you don't know, have their chips removed yet and, you know, the bad match tries to say, you know, it's, you know, it doesn't matter because, you know, their chips didn't, you know, go off and whatnot and the, other than cross crosshairs. Uh, but, you know, Rex is still you know, very uh, defensive about it and gets them to uh, head to uh, Braca with him so that they can go to some crashed uh, vendor and remove their chips, uh, which they do. And then they get there and get to the Med Bay area and Tech starts the uh, procedure on Wrecker, but you know, he snaps into the Order 66 mode and starts going berserk on the other clones and whatnot. And, you know, this, he's, you know, knocked them all out and it's just Omega left, but, you know, he's about to, like, shoot or am I not? But then Rex gets up and uh, stuns him so they're able to, uh, you know, do the procedure and remove uh, his chip, but, you know, then. After it's done, he takes a while to wake up, but, you know, he eventually does and is, uh, okay. And so then they, uh, remove the others, uh, remove their chips. And then afterwards, we get a nice moment with, uh, Wrecker, uh, apologizing to, uh, Omega, which I thought was a nice little cute little moment. But, um, then we see, uh, Hunter and Rex go outside, where, uh, Rex gets calm from, uh, someone. Couldn't hear what the calm was saying, but, uh, he says he'll meet them at the rendezvous uh, point by the next rotation. But then uh, Rex and Hunter, you know, talk and, you know, talking about uh, rebellion and the Empire and whatnot. And now Rex is, you know, still in the fight, uh, you know, fighting against the Empire. But, you know, he asks uh, Hunter and the rest to uh, join him. But, uh, you know, Hunter says that he uh, his you know, priorities have changed, and, you know, he needs to still, you know, figure things out, you know, for Omega, you know, his crew, and, you know, even himself, which, uh, before, you know, joining something like that, uh, and whatnot, but then, you know, they say their goodbyes, you know, basically telling each other if they need the, uh, other, to, you know, you know where to find them, uh, so, yeah, but, uh, then, you know, Rex leaves, and, Heads off to wherever he's going, and then we see some uh, junkers on uh, on the you know, loading pa platform thingies, you know, looking at Hunter with the binoculars, and the one tells the other to uh, notify the Empire, and that's where the episode ends. So yeah, um, obviously a tease of what's to come in the next episode, but uh, yeah, um, I quite like this episode. It was a pretty uh, great one. I was uh, you know. Pretty straightforward episode, uh, you know, it was a 
about, you know, Rex finding them and removing the chips, and that's what happened in it. Um, obviously, you know, like, you know, I, I knew, you know, that they most likely would all remove their chips and they would all be fine, and, you know, that's what did happen. But, you know, I, I still like how uh, they got to the, uh, you know, point of, them being fine with the chips car and whatnot, but, uh, you know, I like the moment of a uh, record, you know, snapping into the order 66 mode and, you know, not snapping out of it and whatnot, but, um, yeah, also nice to see, uh, Rex again, um, and whatnot and see what he's up to, very intrigued with, uh, what he's up to, obviously he's part of the, in a very early, uh, rebellion, um, and whatnot, I, Interested to see how he goes, you know, from this character we see to, uh, you know, his first appearance in, uh, Rebels, uh, you know, season two of, uh, Rebels, where, you know, he's not a part of, uh, the Rebellion during the, uh, you know, uh, more, as it's so early days of the Rebellion at that point, but, you know, right before came a major thing, so, yeah, um, but yeah, and, you know, how he uh, meets up with the other clones and whatnot, um, with, um, you know, Wolf and Gregor. So, yeah, but, uh, you know, also seeing Bracca again was cool. Seems like we'll be seeing, uh, Bracca again in the, uh, next episode because of the end. And, you know, there's trailers, there's more shots of Bracca, so, yeah. But, um, you know, I would assume also in the next episode we'll see, uh, Crosshair again, so excited for, uh, see him again in the Empire and whatnot, so yeah, you know, it was another uh, pretty uh, great episode, like I said, um, of the series, and been uh, really good so far in these first seven episodes, so yeah, and you're moving to next episodes, the uh, halfway point, will be, uh, it'll be eighth episode, there'll be eight more after that, so, you know, and I believe after the next episode, pretty much everything seen the trailers would have happened, so, uh, you know, um, I think there's, I think there's a couple more shots of Fennec Shand, but we're in the trailers when we're in the episode she was in, so she'll probably be appearing again this season, unless those shots were deleted, but, uh, or, uh, you know, I just, they were, and I just didn't uh, notice, but, uh, yeah, Anyways, uh, my grade for this episode, I'll, I'll give it an A minus. So yeah, um, you know, I, I really didn't have much to say about this episode because, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. There wasn't any um, crazy things to talk about. Obviously, the it was a big episode, big uh, you know advancement with the inhibitor chips, but it's like you know I've talked about inhibitor chips before, so you know there's really nothing crazy new to talk about there, but, uh, yeah, a- anyways, um, you can check out my reviews of the first six episodes of The Bad Batch and whatnot, but, uh, you know, next week I'll return with the, uh, eighth episode, very excited to see where the show goes next, but, anyways, I've been sorry as you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one. For orders. Nothing but trouble. But we get the job done.